Hello everybody, it's the Bearded Man, Paul here, and I want to talk a little bit more about the beard. Uh, somebody actually mentioned to me, they said, oh, you idolize your beard. Well, uh, that's like somebody saying you idolize your face, or you idolize your nose, or you idolize your eyes. I don't idolize it, it's just part of me, and I talk about it. I know people that have big, beautiful blue eyes, they talk about their big, beautiful blue eyes. I know people that have uh, nice skin, they talk about their nice skin, so I want to talk about my beard, because I have a beard. But what I really want to talk about today is the question or the fear that people have of growing a beard is it will get in the way. Will the beard get in the way of what I'm doing? And if I let my beard grow out longer than just, uh, you know, the fake beard that you can't even pull, you know, a real beard. If I have a real beard, will it get in the way of things I'm doing? Will it get caught on things? Will it, will, will it create damage? Uh, First of all, that thinking is, 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 you know, it's part of you. You know, if you think it's going to get... I know a man who has a beard that's down to the floor, literally, maybe up to, past his knees. But I've never seen it that long. Why? Because he's learned over the years, if he's busy or if he's going out, he pins it up. And, and he's never letting anyone see it that long. And I know it's that long. I, I, I know this guy, and if you knew too, you would agree. But he says his beard is that long. But he pins it up, so 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 maybe it, it might be up to here or something. So it's not getting in the way. If I wanted to move mine out of the way, I could move mine out of the way. There's uh, things you can do. I mean, saying or thinking my beard might get in the way of what I'm doing is like thinking, well, I'm gonna go bald because uh, hair might get in the way of what I'm doing. You know, I want hats to fit me nicely but uh, the hair might get in the way so I'm gonna shave my head completely bald so the hair doesn't get in the way it doesn't make sense it's your face you know my nose might get in the way so I'm gonna cut it off it does not make sense you know my hair might get in the way I'm gonna cut off my hand because it might get in the way of what I'm doing why am I saying this and to some of you this might sound ridiculous but we have to get the understanding if we if, if we truly want a passion, uh, to have passion about our beard, we have to get the correct understanding to, to know that the beard is part of us. It's not something extra that some of us decide to do. No, it's part of us. If you don't do anything, you have a beard. But if you cut it off, you no longer have one. It's you're taking away what's natural. So, you know, if you cut off your arm, you don't have an arm. That's not saying, you know, if everyone in the world doesn't have an arm, you're not saying, well, that's the way it should be. No, somebody, they did something to take something away. You don't see people with two arms saying, well, that person has two arms. That's special, that other arm. No, that's the way it's supposed to be. Well, this is the way it's supposed to be. We're supposed to have a beard. You know, now, now, you know, is the, is the goal of my channel to get people to, to grow a beard or let them stop destroying their beard? No, I don't have a goal of the channel. I just want to discuss the beard. Uh, I want to discuss the reality that, you know, it's not something extra. It's who we are supposed to be as men. We're supposed to have a beard. Well, I don't like the color of the beard. Well, it's going to get in the way. Look, we could think of many, many excuses. But if it sounds ridiculous for me to say my nose is going to get in the way or my hair is going to get in the way or my arm's going to get in the way, well, when you start understanding that the beard is really part of you, you start getting to the understanding that it sounds ridiculous for somebody to say my beard is going to get in the way of what I'm doing. Listen, folks, I'm a very fit person. I exercise all the time. I run. I metal detect. I lift weights. The beard's not getting in the way. It's my patch, my dream that it would be so long that it does get in the way. But I'm not going to cut it off when it does. I'm just going to pin it up or move it out of the way. Move it out of the way. I've heard one story over the years uh, that somebody said that their beard once caught fire. And, 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 and the worst thing that it did is, is they put out the fire and it took off a little of their beard. I mean, it was an accident that took off a little of their beard. You know, when you go on a ride at the amusement park and, and, and if you're a woman and you have really long hair, they say, before you go on this ride, there's a sign that says, make sure that you pin up your hair. You put your hair in a little wrap or something so it doesn't get caught in the ride. But the sign doesn't say, well, this ride, you know, if you have long hair, you're going to have to go over there and shave your head. 
to go on this ride because your hair might get in the way. No, there's things you can do. Uh, there's a Sikh community where the men uh, and the women don't shave at all and the men have really long ba beards and many of them pin it up if they're doing something it gets in the way and that's a the reason why I mention that is that is a community of people that understand that the beard is part of us and we shouldn't be taking it off and they've gotten used to dealing with things like getting in the way and dealing with it so they, they, they they'll pin it up if they need to there's more and more people, you know, I don't see rabbis saying, well, I'm going to get rid of my beard because even though our creator said that we should have a beard, it gets in the way because when I try to read my Bible, the beard's in the way. No, it doesn't make sense. You can look at it from every viewpoint out there. It just, but it makes sense to the world to say something like that because the world is into the, the you know, it's, it's into taking body parts away. If the body part gets in the way, just take it away. Don't deal with it. Just take it away. So that's what I'm saying. Hair is a body part. It's not an extra thing. You know, you look at women shaving their legs like, like it's an, an uh, annoyance that they have hair on their legs. No, that's their body part. And they're taking it away. You know, you know, men, the beard and the mustache, that's your body part. You don't have to take it away. You know, uh, some people say, well, they want to fit in society. Well, well, look at society today. Society is just into cutting body parts off. You know, you don't have to do that. You know, don't take away what's supposed to be there. Somebody mentioned on my blog, they said, oh, my, oh, my, one of my, under my videos, they said, well, you know, I, I, I just can't grow a beard. Well, I couldn't either grow a beard when I was shaving it all the time. There are some cultures around the world, maybe some people or some eth ethnicities that, that uh, can't grow a beard. They literally can't. They just don't. But there's a difference between, I'm not shaving, but a beard's not coming out. Or, I just don't like the way it looks, or I have patches and all this, so I'm going to shave it off. There's a big difference. And the majority of men, that's the reason why they say they can't grow a beard. Let me correct many of them. They can't grow a beard that they like the way it looks. But that's like saying again, well, I don't like the way my arm looks. It's a little shorter than this one. So I'm going to cut it off. <laughs> no, you know, it, it just doesn't make sense. Well, I don't like the way my, my fingers look, so I'm going to cut them off. No, folks. If, if, you, if the beard's going to come out, leave it alone and let it be. Look, I don't think we should cut off our body parts for reasons like, well, it's going to get in the way. Really, for all you guys out there with beards, no matter how long it is, and especially the men with the long beards, what do you do? Post it below the video when your beard gets in the way. You just move it aside. You don't cut it off. You don't cut off body parts for that. Uh, put your comments and questions below the video, and uh, thanks for checking this out, and uh, leave it alone. You know, you, if you want to pet it, you want to touch it, you want to move it aside, that's fine. But don't cut off your body part. Your beard is your body part. Till then, everybody, have a great day and beard on.